Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 22nd June 2023, LNT and DRDO signed a contract for utilization of two air independent propulsion AIP system modules for Calvary class of submarines of the Indian Navy. DRDO has transferred technology of its AIP to LNT. These modules constitutes the core of the fuel cell based AIP system developed by NMRL and LNT being the prime partner. On 23rd January 2023, an agreement was also signed between senior officials of NMRL and Naval Group France in Mumbai to extend the cooperation to enter into detailed design phase for integration of indigenous AIP in the Carvery class submarine. As a part of agreement, Naval Group France will certify the AIP design for integration in the submarines. As per the Ministry of Defense, the land-based prototype of NMRL's AIP has been tested successfully. This new endeavor will be a significant step towards the detailed design certification of the energy module, which will be performed by NMRL along with Indian industry and design of the platforms impacted by the integration of indigenous AIP system inside the submarine by Naval Group. This new endeavor will be a significant step towards the detailed design certification of the energy module, which will be performed by NMRL along with Indian industry and the design of the platforms impacted due to the integration of indigenous EIP system inside the submarine will be conducted by the Naval Group. Now, these actions will seamlessly lead the way to a start of the localization and industrialization of AIP, including the hull fabrication by the Indian industry for future fitment on board the submarines. The AIP has a force multiply effect on the lethality of a diesel electric submarine as it enhances the submerged endurance by several folds. The DRDO's 270 kilowatt fuel cell based AIP system uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen which is generated from sodium borohydride and liquid oxygen to generate electricity. The fuel cell aims to give endurance of up to 14 days to a conventional submarine. While there are different types of AIP system being pursued internationally, the fuel cell based AIP of DIDO is unique as the hydrogen is generated on board and it is also considered as the best among all the AIP system. At present, only Germany and South Korea has this technology. The AIP will be retrofitted into existing submarine hulls by inserting an additional hull section. On 8th March 2021, DRDU has demonstrated the land-based prototype of fuel cell-based AIP. It was operated in endurance mode and max power mode. The DRDU is also working to develop a module which has to be fitted on submarine when it comes for retrofitting. There are industry partners including Larsen and Dubro and Thermax and the Naval Materials Research Laboratory of DRDO which has developed this. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.